morning. It's been a quite damp and drizzly morning, but it's starting to brighten up now. And today's job is to sort out this shed. It's sort of getting in the way at the moment of uh, locking up lots of other tasks. Um, problem with it is, is over time, the mice and everything else have got underneath the base, and the back of the base is tilting back. So it's actually tilting back a bit. The whole, the whole thing needs to come forward a whole load. Um, so before we get anything in this area in front and uh, start developing that, we want to take it off the base. Now the best case scenario is we can get the whole shed off the base. The worst case scenario is that we can just move it forward and we just need to get to the back set of slabs um, and try and level those up. Put a new surrounding. Now it's a bit rickety, as you can see, so by the end of the day, we're either going to have a level shed or we're going to have a pile of firewood because I'm not sure how we'll move it how well it's going to hold together but first job of the day is going to be get all the stuff out because there's no way we're going to be moving it with all this junk in there so let's get on with that So that's the shed emptied, um, now just a case of seeing how easy it is to move. Wish me luck! So moving the shed was the part of the job that I was dreading the most. Um, but it seemed to go okay, it seemed to go okay, we're just wigging it back and forward single handed. Um, whether getting it back on again will be as easy, we shall wait and see. But now we can sort of see what the issue is. All these slabs are uneven and been pushed up. And down at the back here, we've had to try and prop it up with bits of wood to try and get, keep the level. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a new surround and then take all these slabs up. Um, try and get a new level. Some of this is quite hard concrete, but so it's a bit softer. So we'll try and get a new level in there once we've got the new surround on. Um, get it level. Get the shed back up. Once we've got the shed back up, I think it's going to need some internal bracing just to get it square because it's been skew with so long. Um, um, let's see how it goes. So, progress update. Cleared out all the old wood. Wood surround using some old uh, fence panel posts. Got it all level. Next job is clear all the slabs, get some more sand down in here, get a new level on it. Well, it's not going to win any awards at the paving slab, the early awards, um, but it's level and oh, level enough for me. Um, luckily, we just had enough sand. Had to chuck a few stones in at the end just to pad it out. Um, so that's there. Let's put a little bit of filler in there, maybe. Um, next job is to see if we can get this shed back on this base. Thank you. 
So, here we are inside the shed. As you can see, it's still not quite level, and that's because it's the base is level, but there's still quite a lot of movement in the actual shed itself. So, the next job will be to put some cross struts across here and all the way around just to get the verticals level um, and then we'll be able to put stuff in and as you can see you can see right out through the shed so we're going to be re-skinning this we've got a cunning plan for that so if you want to see that hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified when I put a video up about that and also this is our uh, power system we've got a small solar panel up on the roof up there and this is our little solar controller it's normally connected to that car battery that's outside and this is the internal light as you can see actually it's actually flashing because it's actually not got a battery attached there's actually just about enough power coming from the uh, solar panel at the moment to actually power it and then this is a external light and these two here are going to be for lights down in the poly tunnel and down in the brassica cage and when we come to do that we'll put a video up about that and how we're going to do that but for the time being let's get the spirit level in here get some cross braces put in the shed and get it all squared up at least we've got a level base now to work from this is what happens when you put your tools down for five minutes where are you think you're going Saying that going up the spirit level. Slacker. So that's me pretty much done. Everything's packed away. Um, it's a good job. That's one big job off the list. It's been a, uh, so I can't reskin or redo the shed, treat the shed until it was level again. There's no point doing that. So it's all good. Um, let's just check, see the door closes properly now. Yeah, so. That's pretty good and uh, right so it's getting quite hot now it's after a drizzly start so uh, I'm gonna harvest a bit of uh, my uh, le green leaves and uh, take that home have that for lunch Look at these! I mean, they've probably got a bit big, really, but well, they don't feel too woody, so we'll have a few of those for lunch as well. Massive radish! <laughs> <laughs> 